Critchley and Walter dig in to force final day drama. Essex are in a whole heap of trouble at the Cloud County ground. Their response to Northamptonshire's first innings 390 spluttered its way to 95 for 8 when time was called on the second day of play. Ben Sanderson's four wickets built on Luke Proctor's ton to give the visitors the advantage. Snater and Stagetti were the men tasked with trying to rescue Essex, and the former had ideas about how to go about that, accelerating early in the day to carry the host beyond 100, and he was chipping away at their quite significant deficit. And they did very well together, the partnership worth 50 runs when Stachetti worked one off his legs for a single. Slater then calmly guided Taylor through third man to record a well-deserved half-century and take Essex to 150. The lower order resistance was to be applauded, but inevitably the partnership was broken. Sacchetti bowled by Berg and Essex down to their final wicket. Snater was still denying Northamptonshire though, Cook watching on from the other end as the number 9 continued to add to his score and the visitors once huge lead was now heading below 200. His fun was over when Keogh found Cook's edge and Vasconcelos took the catch. Essex dismissed for 193, still 197 behind, and they'd be back out there after lunch with Vasconcelos enforcing the follow-on. They'd been let down by their top order, who had crumbled to 75 for 7, less than top scorer Snater had added by himself with his unbeaten 79. Sanderson had picked up four of the top five wickets, his figures an impressive 4 for 32 off 19 overs of bowling. The start to the second innings was much kinder to Essex, Cook and Brown up into the 40s, but that's where Northamptonshire struck, the former England captain out caught by Vasconcelos off Taylor for 19. They inched their way past 50, but Northamptonshire weren't to be kept out. Wesley out LBW to Proctor, who was stamping his authority all over this match. The visitors wouldn't loosen their grip, Brown out caught by Vasconcelos off the spin of Keogh, and they were still in trouble at T. The score just 69 for 3, they were still trailing by 128. Walter and Critchley looked determined after tea, their partnership just what the doctor ordered for Essex, and they were up to three figures, and then to a 50-run partnership, scored from 140 balls. If Essex were going to find an escape route, the fourth wicket partnership would surely prove to be crucial to them, and they'd still be there when both sides returned on the morning of the final day. Essex doing everything in their power to deny Northamptonshire, the deficit now 48 at the close, with seven wickets in hand. The visitors, though, will be confident they can pick up their first win of the season when they return on Sunday. It's tantalisingly close, but can they grab their chance?